Hello, and welcome to the Global Executive Track PhD in Industrial Engineering at Wayne State University. The purpose of this video is to explore the uh, qualitative method software tools required for the class, and the class is Industrial Engineering 8951. There are five software tools that the um, qualitative methods class will be using. Uh, first and foremost, Atlas uh, TI7. Uh, which is really the kind of uh, mainstay in qualitative uh, research. Uh, Deduce, a new uh, web-based um, qualitative um, software that you can uh, use on the cloud, especially very useful uh, for teams who want to share their data amongst one another. Uh, Wordage, um, uh, an analytic for text. Uh, linguistic inquiry and word count, another uh, text uh, profiling tool, and finally Condor, a very multi-purpose uh, tool for analyzing uh, email, web, uh, Wikipedia, Twitter, and more. So this uh, set, I'm going to go through one at a time and give you additional links where you um, can download and install the software. Uh, for Atlas TI, the software is available to students for $99. You should be able to um, uh, verify that with your uh, Wayne State University uh, .edu student ID. Um, of all the um, software packages, in my opinion, is one of the most sophisticated qualitative software packages available. Uh, very um, user friendly and uh, has been continuous to um, improve and revise year over year, and especially now uh, is geared towards a very much a multimedia for um, your uh, video, audio. Uh, slides, PDF files, as well as linking it to your uh, quantitative surveys as well. Handles multimedia again in quantitative surveys. Um, coded data can be exported to the statistical package for the social sciences or SPSS for further quantitative analysis. Primary strength of the software is reading the, the theoretical module on uh, building capacity which um, we have used uh, for over a number of years. Uh, this software program, however, only runs in Windows. So you can install it on a Mac if you use VMware, which the link there if you want to download it, or Parallels, which I personally use in running on Windows. So uh, the only uh, thing I can say, a kind of drawback, it's a Windows only, but you certainly can run it on a Mac with one of those um, um, other uh, software programs. Uh, next, uh, for, uh, Atlas TI, uh, getting started, there's a variety of, um, of material available. There's a quick tour guide of 71 pages available here. Uh, kind of tells you um, the overall uh, strengths and modules within um, Atlas. There's an extensive manual of 470 pages, which you can download and refer to. There's a set of actually training videos, which actually I recommend too. You can view actually on a Mac or download those. And uh, that gives you a really good feel for um, Atlas and how the hands-on working. There's free webinars twice a month available uh, at this link that you can sign up to. There's an extensive library of how-to documents and other references. Um, and for general support, um, I suggest you can email general underscore support at atlas.com. Atlas main screen. So what does this thing look like? Well, here's a, um, a screenshot of their main screen and kind of this is where you spend most of your time working within the Atlas uh, framework. Uh, next, Deduce, um, which is really relatively new here, uh, and the unique thing about Deduce is that it's web-based. Uh, there's no software that you install on your computer. You just use your web browser to access it. It's cross-platform, therefore you can use it on a Mac, a Windows, a Linux, and, and other machines. It's um, particularly geared towards collaborative or mixed method software that is available. Now this is free for one month and then it's just $10 a month for all subsequent months and charged only if the software is used during that month. So they really have an aggressive pricing strategy here and a very easy um, you know, uh, trial time of one month free. All the data now resides on a secure server in the crowd that's only accessible online. This is not where I'm going to be coding. I have no internet and so on. Uh, however, I think for most people, uh, they pretty much will have uh, internet just about where they're at, except in some remote places or when you want to try to get away. So that's one thing to keep in mind with Deduce, that you must have internet access to um, continue your coding. For I like Atlas, uh, Deduce has a number of getting started guides. There's a quick start guide, 
a user guide available here in the manual. There's a series of video tours as well, which again I found to be quite uh, beneficial. And they really have excellent support at supportededuce.com or by telephone. I've used the email extensively when I had a very complicated project that I started with Deduce and found it to be quite responsive. Uh, here's the Deduce uh, main screen. Um, and again, like the, uh, those videos will help you kind of walk through um, how to navigate this main screen and analyze your uh, qualitative and quantitative surveys at the same time. Uh, Wordich um, is again a text-based tool. Uh, this is the link where you can download uh, Wordich. Uh, Wordich is free for academic use. It's cross-platform, runs on Windows, Mac, um, uh, Linux, uh, text analysis software. Uh, does frequency analysis of words and word pairs to determine the statistical difference between the text documents, uh, which I found to be the really strength of Wordage. So if you have one text and you want to compare it to another text, you can really, in just really a matter of minutes, to tell what is unique in each text, what is the same, and gives you um, an ability actually to visualize it as well. has mapping capabilities so you can create semantic word networks where the nodes are words and the links are the relationship between those words. has a built-in capacity to conduct analysis of, of LexisNexis newspaper articles including proper noun extraction. I've used this often to look at a topic in particular cities around the world and then see how that topic is um, being uh, discussed over time. Uh, we're just getting started. It has extensive documentation and a down, downloaded zip file. And one particular one I suggest is to print the wordage at a glance doc, which uh, really kind of summarizes all the modules, uh, what are the input files required, what comes out of it, and any other technical um, specifications that you may need to know. It includes sample data files actually using Twitter and looking at Twitter over two different years early in its life cycle. Uh, support is um, from James Donowski or jdonowski at gmail.com or myself Ken Ryapil at me or you can call my cell phone at 248-210-7642. Uh, Wordage main screen looks like this. The various modules that run across the top, the word link um, which is mainly used to generate the word uh, and word pair frequencies. Um, Opticom, kind of a message optimization. A visage, uh, which gives you the ability to kind of visualize the networks and various other uh, utilities. Uh, then finally, we're going to come over to a linguistic inquiry and word count uh, available uh, at this link. It's a text analysis software that runs in Windows or a Mac, and the full version is available for just under $90. There's a light version for about $30, and you can try it for a limited version for free on um, the website. Um, here at the uh, LIWC tryonline.php. Uh, there you'll be asked to uh, uh, what is your gender and... Um, age, uh, then you can paste in your text and it'll give you about seven different of the some 70 categories. LAWC really calculates the degree to which people use different categories of words across a wide variety of texts, including email, speeches, poems, or transcribed daily speech. Anything that's really you can get in a text or word document, LAWC will calculate percent of words in the categories. So with uh, really a click of a button, you can determine the degree. Uh, text uses positive or negative emotions, self-references, causal words, and 70 other language dimensions. Good reference is James Pennybacker's um, 2012 book called The Secret Life of Pronouns, What Our Words Say About Us. So if you don't think uh, counting words makes a difference, I suggest you read uh, Pennybacker's book. Uh, a great and especially for analyzing your uh, interviews. Uh, here are, is a listing of the LAWC categories. You can see their standard dimensions, the file name, word count, words per sentence, number that's in its dictionary words, the punctuation, um, and then three categories of words. Um, I, I typically just run all 70 of these plus, and you're able to assess your uh, text readily by these categories. Uh, the main menu is really quite simple. You drop down a, a file, um, add the text, and it runs the output. You can make some dictionary selections and so on. Here's a sample of it um, where you can see I ran three files, um, the number of word count in each file, the words per sentence, uh, the number of six-letter percentage of six-letter words, the number that 
a percentage of the words it found in its dictionary and so on. Two key ones that I use to create a positivity index is the Posimo and Negimo. In dividing Posimo by Negimo, you get a positivity index. And referring to the Losada line, the whole amount of work by uh, Marcelio Losada and Barbara Fragrance and um, the positivity index. Um, overall, 2.9 to 1 positive is seen to be the tipping point between um, teams um, that flourish and flounder. Uh, Condor, um, the last um, of the five software packages, is a free for academic use package that runs on Windows, on Mac, and on Amazon Web Services. It is a social network analysis tool that can work with many different kinds of data sets, including the web, your own email, Twitter, Facebook, Wikipedia, and more. It collects and helps analyze both network structure and content and visualize results in a dynamic or static format with a set of analytic tools built in. It was developed by um, Peter Glor at MIT. Uh, for Condor getting started, I would suggest the best one is just really the complete video series from installation on a Mac or a PC or Amazon Web Services to show you how to harvest, visualize, and analyze your web, email, Twitter, Facebook, and Wikipedia data sets. Uh, this is the link um, available for the uh, videos, and if you need support, uh, contact me at kenryapletme.com or myself. Um, here's an example of the Condor main menu in the upper. These are actually kind of four windows uh, that you can generate. In the upper left is actually a dynamic view of um, email, actually of the Enron small uh, uh, data sample. And the right is a contribution index where you can tell the degree to which people send or receive email. In the bottom left is um, a series of three analytics between the centrality, degree centrality, and density over time through this uh, email group. And you can analyze when those dips occur there. That's when actually there's much more collaborative activity occurring. Uh, when the between the centrality goes up, it's usually one or more people sending out large emails to a, a large group of people. Then finally, there's a nice little new user index gives you a, on the bottom right when the people have come into that email corpus for the first time. A very powerful um, and uh, very extensive with a number of videos to help you kind of walk through the um, extensive um, uh, analytic capability of Condor. Uh, so together, these are the uh, five software tools, provide you a solid qualitative and I would say quantitative toolkit that will serve you in this class and in your qualitative methods class and throughout your dissertation work and beyond. Uh, suggested next steps. Okay, I've downloaded these. What do I do now? Well, select a set of interviews that you conducted, meeting minutes, newspaper stories, email, blog, something, some text. Profile that text with the LIWC and create and rank a positivity index. You know, take those two variables, positive mo and negative mo, and then assess against the Losada line, where 2.9 is the tipping point between flourishing and floundering. Run wordage word link to create um, uh, .wrd and wordpair.pr files. Then use the Z word and Z pair modules to determine what is new. The same are dropping out between the text. You might hear a little buzzing. It looks like our gardener has already arrived. Uh, import email into Condor and visualize and assess who is and who is in the network core peripheral. Look at the contribution index and the use, new user index. And finally, overall use the sentiment from LIWC, the content from Wordage, and the network structure indicators in conjunction with your own intuition to focus, refine, and explore the context of your qualitative data. A couple readings to talk about the importance of still and qualitative, the uh, traditional uh, um, qualitative methods in the ethnography of interviewing participant observation, and then finally combining those with the power of technology-based methods to uh, really give um, a sense of your uh, data for exploration. So with that, um, I hope you enjoy these five software tools uh, to get you jump-started on your qualitative methods.